I'm Alessandra Barrett, Senior Content Editor for JOC. I'm at TPM 2016, and I'm joined by John Painter of the Port of Nansha, President and CEO of Guangzhou Port America. Thanks for joining me today, John. Thanks, Ali. It's good to be here again. And congratulations to the IHS and JOC team for another record year. Um, I'm, I'm very happy to hear about the numbers. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Yeah, we're very excited about TPM this year, too. So last year taught us all the importance of having options in place. Mm -hmm. Disruption can happen at any time and certainly really um, surprised everyone with how deeply that disruption went last year. Do you see the trend of having more options at origin? Do you see that trend really having growth? We do, we do, and that's a, that's a great question. I think a lot of people here learned a valuable lesson just last year, this time. A lot of people here at the JOC, IHS, TPM conference were talking about that. Um, so what they learn here at the destination, they are also applying over at the origin. So they're looking at their origin ports, whether it be North China, South China, uh, West Asia, uh, and they realize it's very important to have origin port options as well as origin port relationships. Um, God forbid if you know, Mother Nature uh, gets a little upset with us and they have to alter their supply chain and be able to export out of different ports, uh, what they learned here on the West Coast is they don't want to wait too long. They want to have a contingency plan in place now and be able to have a origin port option in place. Um, so we see that uh, as a trend that's continuing into this year and we're meeting with a lot of BCOs and 3PLs to have those type of discussions. Shenzhen's phenomenal growth also brings with it congestion concerns. Uh, historically, Hong Kong got congested, things moved to Yantian, things got congested, we moved to Chiwan. Do you see a trend like that taking off here? We, we do, we do, and we, uh, we're, we're, again, hearing that from the BCOs, 3PLs, the carriers. Uh, you know, our well-known Yogi Bear used to say that uh, nobody goes to that restaurant anymore because it's too busy. And I think we see that with Shenzhen too. Uh, they've done a tremendous job uh, and you can just see that by the growth. It has become a little congested. We see more and more manufacturing and factories continue to migrate west. Um, so on the west side of the Pearl River Delta, uh, the port of Nanshaw is in place. It's a deep water port there. Um, our volumes have been up um, year after year after year since you know, it opened in 2004. And that's because the trend has continued to migrate west. Uh, people see that in their supply chain upstream where they want to take advantage of that uh, to be able to have their factories, manufacturers, deliver to the port of Nanshaw versus coming all the way around to the Shenzhen port. So part of that reason is not only because of the financial impact, but also the carbon emission uh, impact as well. They realize that the carbon footprint starts at the origin, and they can reduce their dray and save money to go to Port of Nanshaw. We've seen recently in the news that the historically large Ben Franklin vessel recently left Nansha. Um, how are you prepared for other mega vessels? Uh, we are. That was very exciting for us. Uh, matter of fact, you might have seen that on the news with the Wall Street Journal and the Bloomberg News. They had a, a, a great video clip on the Ben Franklin calling on the Port of Nanshaw, leaving and headed toward the Port of Long Beach. Um, so we've been planning for that for years. Um, it's, it's, uh, you know, the team in the Port of Nanshaw is very proud that they were able to accommodate the large vessel, uh, the Ben Franklin, and we're looking forward to future uh, calls from these large vessels coming in, which we'll see before the year's up. Thanks for taking time from the conference to speak with me. Always a pleasure, Allie. Thank you. I've been speaking with John Painter of the Port of Nansha, President and CEO of Guangzhou Port America.